We are live. Welcome to the baseball show on 98.9. I'm here with Liam Fitzgerald, Sam Lowenstein, Bo Poshman. I am Nate Felix. Uh, today we will be talking about favorites to win the 2024 World Series. Sam, who's your pick? I think for me, I like, and some would say an upset, but I wouldn't really think it's an upset. I think the Baltimore Orioles off the back, so guys like Grayson Rodriguez, he's had a breakout season. Gunnar Henderson, he's been even better than last season. I think the Orioles, they have a lot of star power. Adley Rutschman, there's a lot of guys I can name that are just really good. Cedric Mullins, they're just a high-powered team. I think they can win it. Liam, do you have a pick for the World Series this year? Oh, yes, I do. I have the Boston Red Sox, but I live in Boston. I got the Red Sox because they have talent. They got the pitching staff. They got the hitting staff. They have Garen Duran. They have the right pitchers. If we get Gaines Batson and Nate Uvaldi in the trade deadline and get a couple bats, so we are staring defense, offense. We got Garen Duran, Tyler O'Neill. I can just keep going, listening them off. We got talent, we got D. I think we will surprise everybody and win the World Series. What about your pick? I really do believe that the New York Yankees will be 2024 World Series champions. I believe this because Juan Soto and Aaron Judge have really been having a great year. Two MVP candidates uh, winning it, and Garrett Cole is going to do a great job uh, being a um, being a pitcher for them. But they just do really need to add a bullpen. It looks like we have a massive trade. Juan Soto has been traded to the Red Sox for Rafael Devers and Jaron Duran. What is this trade? No one saw this coming. Sam, what are your thoughts on this trade? I think that in general, I think for the roster of Red Sox title hopes, I actually like it. I think it will mess up the culture in the long run. You think about Rafael Devers, they had him on an extension. Jaron Duran was really becoming one of the core players. I think this could be a Kyrie to the Celtics situation where it just blows everything up. I think this will propel them to winning a World Series this year. As a Red Sox fan myself, I hate this trade. Soto is not a good clubhouse guy. He's been with three different teams. He's only 25. Devers and Duran, they are the cornerstones of the Red Sox. They work hard. They play hard. They're the faces of the franchise. This is terrible. Liam, what's your take? I think I know we have Rafi Devers as our star and Garrett Duran. But I think Soto will be a good pickup in addition for the Red Sox. We already have Tyler O'Neill. We got the pissing. We got two Pistons in the trade deadline. I think we're going to have a cornerstone as a career and we're going to bring it back to Boston and have a title time when we can go party. Maybe that will happen. Hey, um, way to uh, save some money there for the Yankees. Uh, $40 million for the Red Sox. Now you're paying uh, Aaron Judge $40 million and uh, Soto is getting paid $25 million. I still think the Yankees are going to win the World Series. Just having Devers and Duran, it's just a no-brainer. Yankees all the way, all the time. Garrett Cole's nasty, and we still have the GOAT, Ben Rice. The guy hits absolute bombs against the Orioles. Well, I think that the Yankees, with the additions of Duran and Devers, I think that's going to mess up their clubhouse dynamic. Remember, these guys have played for their rival, the Red Sox, for a while. It might cause some friction. I don't think the Yankees are winning it either. Craig Breslow, get him out of here. He's terrible. Get him out. Get him out of here. I'm Nate Felix, and this was the baseball show. See you guys.